Hi, uh, my name is uh, Colonel Chris Hadfield. I'm uh, an adventurer, an explorer, and an astronaut. Flown in space three times. Been around this beautiful, precious world of ours 2,650 times. And naturally, with that type of view of the planet and everything that arounds it, I'm, of course, uh, a supporter of Asteroid Day. We live in a cosmic shooting gallery. The Earth is hit by a hundred tons of meteorites every day. Uh, just recent revelations from the University of California in LA show that uh, the moon was created with a cataclysmic crash of, of uh, a planet into our planet Earth. And uh, 110 years ago in Tunguska, and just uh, a couple of years ago in 2013 at Chelyabinsk, and really any night that you look up and see the shooting stars in the sky, you're reminded that, uh, that we are constantly at a level of threat from uh, bits of rock hurtling through our solar system. And some of them are big enough to do significant damage. And so what do you do about it? Uh, the threat is low, but the uh, result can be extremely high. And we are now, for the first time in our history, at a level of technological capability to maybe detect and do something about the threat from asteroids. It's, it's part of the legacy of this big brain and the level of quality of life that we built all around the world that we're now maybe at a point where we can start to deal with a threat like asteroids. And what makes Asteroid Day so successful is uh, all of the volunteers and people becoming aware and everybody hosting activities all around the world, scientists and asteroid hunters and, and regular citizens. And I think everybody, uh, especially today, should uh, go to asteroidday.org and have a look and uh, just think about the environment that we live in, about some of the threats that exist, about some of the things we can do about it, and what you might personally consider being a part of uh, as a citizen of this world. Have a great day.